What's happening, people, is James Beardwell, the Whittam Town supporter here, and welcome back to another Whittam Town FC Match Day vlog. Whittam Town are our home to Felix Stowe and Walter United in the Isthmian League North Division. I am buzzing for the massive game against Felix Stowe and Walter United, and that is a must win for Whittam Town because we only won one league game this season, which is away to Haber Swifts earlier on, nearly a couple of months ago, which is not good enough. But we've got to focus on putting a really good performance against Felix Stone and Walter United from the Whittam Town players. And we must, must get behind the Whittam Town manager, Gary Kimball, 100%. And Gary's a fantastic guy. And, and I've known Gary Kimball very well since his first full term as Whitton Town Manager. I've known him very well and I have to show him a lot of respect because he's, he's brought some fantastic times for the Whitton Town Football Club in his first full term. And that is why I said in the previous intro before the away match to Ilford, what I said about give Gary more time and... Give Gary more time is that I'm persuading fellow Whitton Town supporters to be patient because it will soon become good. And that was what I'm trying to say to the fellow Whitton Town supporters. We need to be a bit more patient. That would give Gary more time and it will soon become good, in my opinion, because like we just need we just need to be a bit patient and be more patient. To give Gary more time and it will come good. But like we just got to get behind Gary Kimball 150%. Because he always appreciates our fantastic Whitton Town support home in the way. And just like Alfie Kimball said. His dad Gary Kimball loves the club. The Whitton Town Football Club to bits. Because he loves the club dearly. Because like. We have to give him time, in my opinion, because, like, um, I do understand fellow Whitton Town supporters have different opinions, and I'm sticking to my opinion that we give Gary more time and be patient, and then build on to next season with Gary Kimball still in charge. We just we just need a bit a bit more patient, because, like, in my opinion. So yeah, anyway, I'm looking forward for today's game against Felix Stone and Walter United. This is a must win for Whitton Town and we've got to put in a performance 150% from the Whitton Town players. We're buzzing as well from our fellow Whitton Town supporters. We're buzzing for the big game. And I'm really confident that Whitton Town will return to winning ways in the league after that fantastic 4-0 win away at Ilf in the Essex Senior Cup third round match and we'll take it from, from Monday's 4-0 win into today's game against Felix Stone Walter United. We're really confident that we're going we're gonna to do it to get back to winning ways. And now I'm about to put my way to the Whittam Town Football Club to get ready for the Whittam Town home match against Felix Stone and Walter United very shortly. I'm currently now on my way to the Whittam Town Football Club to get ready for the Whittam Town home match against Felix Stowe and Walter United. And it's going to be a tough game against Felix Stowe and Walter United. They currently in second with 27 points. And we're currently in 17th with only 8 points. Only one one league game this season away at Haber Swifts, which is not good enough. And we only have eight points in seven, in, in um in seventeenth. Sorry, I, I try to work out the table, but but yeah, we're in we're in seventeenth in the league, which is not good enough. And we need to massively improve that the Whitton Town players must put one hundred and ten percent in, and we must get behind the Whitton Town manager Gary Kimball. 150% because like I said we have to be patient and it will soon come good but as long as we give him more time but that's just my opinion 
And I understand the other Whitton Town supporters have different opinions. So they're, in, they're entitled to their opinions. And that's what it's all about. We're a fantastic bunch as Whitton Town supporters. And like, that's what it's all about. Coming together as Whitton Town supporters. Superb bunch. And we get on really well on and off camera. And that's what it's all about. We are a whole Whitton Town family supporters club. We are one family of the Whitton Town supporters. And that's what it's all about. And like I said, it is a massive game against Felix Stowe and Walter United. And I'm buzzing for the massive game. And we must get all the three points for Whitton Town massively because like... We've got to get all the three points in the bag for Whitton Town because this is huge for Whitton Town. And we must stick together as Whitton Town supporters. And let's hope it will be a fantastic afternoon. I'm now arrived at the Whitton Town Football Club and I'm having breakfast club up at the Whitton Town Football Club. And I've got the usual good full English breakfast and they do the best breakfast up at the Whitton Town Football Club to fill me boots and ready for the Whitton Town home support against Felix Stowe and Walter United. And now I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast before the Whitton Town home match against Felix Stowe and Walter United. I'm currently now just finished my breakfast at the Breakfast Club up at the Whitton Town Football Club. And I'm just waiting for my mates and fellow Whitton Town supporters to arrive to do a pre-match interview before the match. Half-time thoughts and full-time thoughts as always to give all of our Whitton Town fans and ordinary and real Whitton Town supporters a huge voice for our club that we love and that's what it's all about. We're buzzing for the big game against Felix Stone and Walter United, but this is a must win for Whitton Town. But we know it's a tough game against Felix Stone and Walter United, and we've got to put a performance 150%, especially for our Whitton Town supporters at the home game. And we've got to get behind the manager, Gary Kimball, 150%, because he loves our club to bits. And we've got to show positivity, and, and I'm always positive in the pre-match every single Saturday. I'm always positive in the pre-match. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic afternoon. Are you looking forward to the game today? Yeah, yeah, uh, real uh, positive to, today. Like I say, uh, the boys were in good form in the week, trained well Thursday. So yeah, I'm expecting a real positive uh, approach to the game today. And I reckon uh, three points will be on the board today, James. 100%, and thank you for your time and enjoy the game. No problem, James, cheers mate. You looking forward to the game, guys? All yeah, good, mate. mate. Buzzing, buzzing. We're buzzing as well. Can't wait. Be a good one, innit? it? Enjoy the game. Thank you looking forward to the game today? Yeah, buzzing for it. You? Yeah, I'm buzzing. Look good, forward good. to it. Enjoy the game. And you? You looking forward to the game today? Of course, man. Of course. Buzzing. Excellent. Buzzing. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Enjoy the game. I'm now with the fellow Whitton Town supporters, Jim and Jack. How are you doing, James? You all right? Good, thank you. It was a massive game against Felix Stone and Walter United, and we need as much points as possible because we only won one league game this season so far. 
And as long as the Whitton Town players put 110%, like you said, win, lose or draw, and we'll hopefully should be all right for this afternoon. Yeah, mate, I mean, I've not, I've not seen Whitton for a couple of games, so I'm looking forward to it, but I understand Felix don't want they're right at the top, are they? They're second in the league at the moment with 27 points, and we're currently on eight points and 17th in the league, which is not good enough at the moment. But, I know it's a long way to go in the season, but I believe, if we need to be a bit more patient and we should be okay. Yeah, he's got to keep patient, keep trying hard, mate, get behind the team, that's mm. all you can do, mate, all right? 100%. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Jim? Um, It's going to be hard, and I think if we get anything out of this, it'll be a good result, but um, I feel I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw or 2 -on. And what's your score prediction, Jack? 3-1-1. Oh, I like that. I'm going to be optimistic as well, and I know it's going to be a hard game, but... I'm positively, I'm going to go 2-1 Whitting Town. Oh, I like that, James. Fingers crossed, eh? <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Jim and Jack, and up the town. Up the town. Up the town. James, I love your new tripod, mate. That's Thank amazing. you. Right. Thank Cheers, you, mate. superb. Up the town. Cheers, thank you. I'm now with the another fellow Whitting Town supporters, Paul and Sam. Hey, James. All right. Good, thank you. This is a huge game against Felix Stone Walter United. It won't be very easy, but... We've got to take the points for Whitton Town because it's never easy and we've got to put in a positive performance and and hopefully get the three points. Yeah, hopefully uh, get a good result today. It's going to be a tough test for us, isn't it? Mm. These guys are second, they're looking really good, scoring a lot of goals. And after our last uh, league performance, which was pretty diabolical, let's hope the boys can really respond today and put in a good performance. Mm. It is a really, really frustrating last few weeks because we had some poor results and we gave away penalties every single week which is frustrating mostly and like but the players know it Gary knows it and we know it that we need to get the three points in the bag because we really need this very badly and we're not even halfway of the season yet but things are positive to look forward to yeah we've got some positives I think Josh having Josh back at the club is really good news he's obviously when he was with us before, he showed he's a good quality player and he's already scored, scored a couple in the cup, didn't you? I watched your vlog there. Mm. Really good finishes, so that's, that's some good news. And like every game of football, every match is a, a clean slate, clean start. Starts nil-nil, so we've got every chance to go out and put in a good performance today and uh, hopefully get some points. Yeah, things need to be positive there. I've always positive for our manager, Gary Kimball, but I know we had some poor results, but... It is a long way to go in the season, and in my honest opinion, we need to be a bit, be a bit more patient to build a squad because sometimes it will take time to gel. But I know you may not, I know you may not agree, but in my opinion, we should give Gary more time and to build a squad, and it's going to take time to gel. But but I know we're all entitled to our opinions, and um, but things we're looking positive at the moment. Yeah, and like you said, it's still early days in the season. You know, we're not even at Christmas yet. He's made a couple of good signings there. Mm. Billy Rose looks like a good player, and uh, Josh, we know he's a good player. So let's see, uh, we've got to give those boys a bit of a chance as well. They've only just uh, played a couple of games, so we, we need to see how they're going to uh, gel and bed into the squad. So, yeah, he needs a few more games, I think, to see how the new signings are going to work out. Let's hope we can get some points. Definitely. Are you looking forward to the game, Sam? Uh, yeah, it should be a good game. It should be a high scoring game. They've obviously got quite a good attack. Mm. Yeah, but we've got some good players as well, so hopefully we can cause them a bit of trouble up front. Mm. But we'll have to see. Yeah, one hundred percent. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Paul? Uh, so I think this game's a bit of a free hit for us. In that, you know, we're second bottom, well, third bottom, and they're second from the top. So I think uh, we'd be happy with any points. So I go one all. With. And what's your score prediction, Sam? I'll say two two today. I'm going to be really positive. I'm going 2 1 Whitton Town. Thank you guys so much for your time and up the town. Up the town. Up the town. I'm now with the another fellow Whitton Town supporters, Rick and Laura. Hi, Hi James. James. Good, thank you. This is a massive game for Whitton Town against Felix Stone and Walter United, and we've got to put on the performance in. And like you said, Rick, no more hoofing the ball in the air all the time. <laughs> and we've got to keep playing the ball for the feet and to keep more possession on the ball. And this is huge. And we need the points very badly. And we've got to put a performance 150% in. You can't play no worse than what we did against Barry, can we? 
Mm. That was absolutely disgusting. Mm. Worst performance I've ever seen since I've been coming up here. Mm. You know, come on, let's get a, let's get the team together. Let's get them playing proper football. Let's have a good result today. Eh? Mm. You know, it was absolutely dire. Absolutely dire. Mm. We didn't know what we were doing. The setup right for the word go was absolutely wrong. You know, when we changed it in the second half, we looked half mm. decent. No, but come on, we were 3-0 down at half time. Rubbish, sorry. Mm. Absolute rubbish. Yeah, we've got to put things right, and um, we're a bit unsure about the management at the moment, but we've just got to get behind him and like, just got to see how we do today. And it's a really tough one, but in the previous full time force, it was really stuck. And But um, we just got to get, get a put a performance in against Felix Stone and Walter United, and we, and we need the three points very badly. But why not go, right, like you just said, why not go for a positive attitude and go for a win? Don't mm. just sit back, go for a win and get some goals. You've got, you've got a goal scorer now, two goal scorers. Mm. Come on, let's play some football up front, let's get some goals, let's get some confidence in the team, and that's what we want. We've got no confidence whatsoever. Super, 100%. And are you looking forward to the game, Laura? Yeah, I think hopefully after, you know, winning... 4-0 against Ilford on Tuesday night. I think um, that hopefully would have given them some confidence. Like Rick said, we need to come out and be positive from the start. Mm. You know what? We, As long as we play well and they give it their all, that is all you can ask. Mm. All right, if we lose, we lose. But as long as they play football. Spot on. Um, that, you know, that, then, then you can hold your hands up and say, you know what, they did play well, they tried. This is going to be a tough match. Mm. It is going to be a tough match. I think the next two matches are going to be even more crucial mm. because, you know, but obviously today's the day. I do think it's going to be a really, really tough match. But let's get behind well, behind the team mm. and let's just see what happens, is what I think. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Rick? I'm going to go 2 1 to Wizard today. <laughs> what's your score prediction? Oh, I'm going to go 2 1. <laughs> score prediction, oh, I'm, I'm stuck on this. My, my heart says 2-1, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with 2-1, I think, because I've got to be positive today, haven't mm. I? We've got to be. So, what is yours, James? I'm going for the same as Rick, 2-1 Town. Yeah, because let's, let's be positive right from the word go. Mm. If we go out there, with a, we, are we going to get slaughtered? We'll get absolutely slaughtered. Let's go with a, a positive, then we'll get someone out of the game, because otherwise we won't get nothing at all out there. Mm. Come on. We, you need, know? we need something positive. To go into the next Let's two go. games. Exactly. Mm. Because Tuesday night is going to yep. be really That's tough. It's beatable, game. we can beat them, but it's going to be tough. Definitely. So will Grace be, you know, Grace so as well. We need confidence. We, like, com we need confidence no. today. We need confidence in the team. Um, and by all accounts, Josh is a really good player. He's very, very quick by what I've heard. So I think if we play free along the front, I, I think they're gonna, we're gonna have, phew, we're gonna score. Definitely. We, we need goals. We need yeah, goals. We've got to score goals. We've got to start scoring goals. Goals wins games. That's what we've got to do. Win games. What, have we only got six of the season so far. <clears throat> Um, we got two against Ilford on Monday. But the whole team, well, I think we've only scored six, haven't we, of the season? I think six yeah. at the moment. So that just proves that we need to score goals, don't we? So, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for your time and come on the town! Come on the come town! On town! Come, on! come on! Come on! Come on! I'm now with the another fellow Whitton Town supporter, Leon. Good, thank you. This is a huge game against Felix Stone and Walter United because they're challenging for the top spot along with Lower Stoff Town. It'll be tough, but if the Whitton Town players, that's not if, when we put a good performance in against Felix Stone and Walter United, we should be okay. Yeah, definitely. We need to get a win in the league. We haven't gotten a win in the league since, I think it was the Haybridge uh, The Haybridge Swiss one. Game. The 1-0 the win against Haybridge Swiss. We only won one league game this season because in my eyes it's not good enough in the league at the moment. But we've got to put a performance in and we've got to get behind the Town manager Gary Kimball 1%. But I know we had some poor results. But in my opinion, we need to be a bit more patient and we'll soon become good. Yeah, definitely. Um, that win Monday no night um, in the Essex Senior Cup, that was amazing. Um, I mean, I mean, Enfield, um, is it Enfield or? Ilford. Ilford Town. Um, they're, Ilford. They're, they're rubbish. I know, oh, yeah. They're, they're terrible. Um, but game today, um, 
Felix Stone, um, fighting for top spot. Um, it's going to be hard, and hopefully just kill. 100% because this is a must win for Whitton Town and and like I said we've got, got to get behind Gary Kimball 100% because he loves our club Whitton Town to bits because we've got to get behind him 100% because like like I said we, I know we had some poor results in the league but we need to win today but like who knows sometimes we can get a victory against the top side like we did away at Haby Swifts back in September and as long as the Whitton Town players put 150% in. Yeah, definitely. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Leon? I'm going to have to go 1 0 Whitton. I am going to be positive as well. I'm going 2 1 Whitton Town. Thank you so much for your time, Leon. I really appreciate it. And up the town. Up, up the town. Come on. We love you, we do, we do. We love you, we do, we do. We love you, we do, we do. Oh, we do, we love you. We love you, we do, we do. We love you, we do, we do. We love you, we do, we do. Two on Whitman Town. Come on, Whitton! Come on, Whitton! Come on, Whitton! Come on, Whitton! Whitton a massive everywhere we go. Whitton a massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Come on, you white! Come on! in a space of two minutes. One nil to Felix Stowe and Walter United. Oh my days. In a space of two minutes. Oh my God. Come on boys. Corner to Felix Stowe. But we respect each other's opinions. Well defended. Why are we? Another corner Felix Stowe and Walter United. Oh, don't beat him. Don't you don't, never do that. Come on, defend this. I've always backed the manager since he came back. Yeah. And I'm still backing him. Where's that? Oh, where's that going? Well cleared. I've always... God. No. Good tackle! Come on! Go on, Darius, you got this. Go on, Darius. Go on, Darius. And again. Come on! Good tackle! Corner! Another corner to us! Come on, town! 
We got Liam Whips! Liam Whips! We got Liam Whips! No, no, no. Oh! Nearly! You got celebrities. Well covered! Oh, no. The half time score Whitton Town nil, Felix Stowe and Walter United won. And here we've got the fellow Whitton Town supporters, Paul and Leon. Hello, mate. Guys, the first half, to be honest, it is really frustrating. And but we can see the first goal in two minutes, in the space of two minutes. It was really frustrating to watch, but we have managed to put more possession on the ball before half time. But what, what, what went wrong? I think they've done all right, actually. I think, uh, like you say, really frustrating early goal, uh, two minutes in, and we thought it was going to be a really long afternoon then, it, uh, especially against the team who's really free scoring. But it looks like, you know, a lot of the Whitten boys, they're, they're closing down, they're pressuring the ball, they're tackling, they're getting stuck in. Uh, I think the performance has been pretty good. I think, been, bearing in mind their second top, Felix, I think we've matched them pretty much across the first half there. Uh, much better than that completely gutless performance against Berry Town. So, yeah, promising. I think there's something in it for us uh, in the second half. If we keep playing like that, a lot of good intensity, close down, we can get something out of this game. What needs to improve in the second half, Leon? What needs to improve is we need to focus more on our defending and, and the field and stop poofing the ball up and down the pitch mm. because that is just wasting time. Mm. And, and us doing that, we'll probably concede, like, probably three more goals, which mm. we don't want. We want to get more goals in than them. So, so what we need to do second half is... Um, this, we need to like sort of improve the second half because like it is frustrating to concede every single match at the moment. But we've got to like be better in the second half. Given the Darius, and what and what, <laughs> and what needs to improve the second half, like like tactical wise. I think we need to, uh, Darius has done well. I think he's yeah. been on the ball a lot. He's made a lot of encouraging runs down there, sort of right hand side. I'd like to see Jeff get in the game a bit more. I think you know he's. Good quality, but he's been out of the game a little bit. He's sort of been in a little bit and starts, but I'd like to see him get in the game a bit more and get the ball to Josh a bit as well because he hasn't had much to do up front. But, you know, we're playing against a really good side here. They're, they're top scorers in the league. They're second second place. We know they're a good team. And I think mostly, mostly we've matched them. I think we've done all right. Like Leon said, we've looked a bit suspect defensively from time to time. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, if we keep with that sort of intensity, keep closing down, keep pressing, I think there could be still something in it for us. Thank you guys so much for your time and keep the faith and up the town. Up the town. Up the town. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary. Get it back. Come on, we turn! 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 Come
Oh, it didn't last long. 2 2. You're right, Callum. Back to reality, everyone. Some weren't lasting. Oh, get him a goal! No. No. Well cleared. Tackle. Out! Foul or anything. We've got to win the hard way. No. Yeah. Yes! So how much more can there be? Well cleared. Time! Time! Whistle, ref. Whistle. Everybody, everybody's back now. We've got everybody back. We need to defend this. Out! Out! Yes, I've got work on Monday. Come on! 
Sawyer's so got me here. Everywhere we go, we turn a massive. Everywhere we go. Take it to the corner. Go for another one. Oh. Oh, goal for them. He's waiting for them to score. No. Where's your watch, ref? Keep going. Get it away. Oh, Now's this is nerve wracking. Yes. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Come on, Full-time score, Whitton Town 3, Phoenix Star Wars United 2! Yeah. Whitton a massive, everywhere we go! Whitton a massive, everywhere we go! Everywhere we go! Guys, what a second half, and we finally won! Oh my day, oh, oh. we got our breath back and we managed to hold on for the 90 minutes Oh, it was superb. I mean, it brought, me, brought us so much delight with a victory and we've been waiting for a long time. And this was we, this is what we brought our confidence, that 4-0 win away at Ilford into today's game. And we got the victory. And that was amazing, isn't it, guys? Yeah, I think they played really well. It said at half-time they were 1-0 down, but the boys were putting in a good performance. They were getting stuck in. They were tackling. The desire was there, the commitment was there. It was completely night and day compared to the Berry game. So I think they, they deserve that with a second half performance. So credit to the manager, credit to the boys. They, they deserve the win. Well done. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit emotional because it's been a long time. And um, I said it time and time again. I backed Gary Kimball 100%. And I was proved right that we've got, we've got to give him a chance. And we got the win. Yeah, definitely. Um... What I said in the half-time um, thoughts, um, what we had to do in the second half, um, improve on the back line and the central midfield, and we did exactly that. We improved on the defence and central midfield, and that's how we got the win tonight. Oh, that was superb. I'm so emotional because it's like um, <laughs> we got the victory. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time coming, and, and I have to say I'm happy for Gary Kimball because... Um, because I said it time and time again, we give Gary more time and we got the win. And I, and I, and I said this in, in the intro today, we give, be a bit more patient 
and we got the victory at the end. Yeah, and credit to him and the boys there. That performance was completely different. They, everyone on there wanted it today. They got stuck in, they closed down, they uh, hustled and hurried. And you can see what it meant at the end there to Gary. So, yeah, credit to him and the boys there. They did really well. Nerve wracking though, weren't it? <laughs> Roughly my, about 10 minutes of injury yeah. time from somewhere. And my heart was absolutely raising, like, because we're, we're holding on to the victory. It was 3 2 up. And we was like holding on to the victory and it was really nerve wracking because at this level, it's very nervy. And, and, I, and I thought, please, 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 please hold on to the victory. And we got the win at the end. And this will bring our confidence massively into Tuesday's game against Stowe Market Town. It will bring huge confidence for Tuesday night's game at Sto against Stowe Market Town at home. Yeah, got a big week coming up now. Let's hope we can use this momentum and really kick on now because that was a really good performance and we need to see that every game now. That same level of intensity, the same level of desire, commitment from all 11 players. That was exactly what we want. Even if you don't win, that's the sort of level of commitment you want every single game. So credit to the mm. manager, credit to the boys. Well done, that was a great win. 100%. I just couldn't hide my delight with that fantastic victory. And um, like I said, I am delighted for Gary Kimball, the manager, because I told you time and time again, give him, give him more time and be a bit more patient. And we've got the superb victory at the end. And this will build on to Tuesday night's game. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Phoenix, they are second in the league. They're averaging three goals a game. They're a really good side. And we've come here, we've stood toe to toe with them. We've matched them today for intensity. And I think we deserve that win. That was the pleasing thing. It weren't a smash and grab, the commitment, the effort. We absolutely deserved it. So if we can beat the team who's second, we've got a big week coming up now against the two guys below us. We really need to kick on. But yeah, great, great performance. Well done, boys. Yeah, this is a massive turning corner for Whitton Town. We finally turned the corner and like, we're now we're going to build onto Tuesday night's game and with full confidence. And I'm, I'm really proud for the team and especially I'm proud for our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball. And um, I'm delighted for him. And I can be this emotional. It's been emotional because like, it's been a long time coming. It's, um, it's been superb. Yeah, nerve wracking, wasn't it? But uh, the, the boys deserved it. So credit to their man and manager. Well done. Thank you so much for your time, guys. And up the town! We serve a massive everywhere we go. We serve a massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Yes. I'm now with the Whitton Town player, Josh Osode. Yes, yes, yes. Josh, what is your thoughts on the game against um, Felix Stone and Walter United today? I feel like we started off slow, but they got the only, um, early goal. Um, I think we were a bit shaky at first, but we grew into the game. The boys knew what we were up against, and we're fighting for the gaffer at the end of the day and for everyone that's on the pitch. So. Boys well, came on with three points, and that's what I matters. That was amazing. That was a superb victory for Whitton Town, and um, the Whitton Town supporters have been superb throughout the whole 90 minutes, as always, haven't they? 100%. We needed them, and they were big today. Literally, they were like the 12th man on the pitch. And this will bring the confidence on to Tuesday night's game, 100%. isn't it? The boys are buzzing right now. Hopefully, we'll just take it into the next game. Thank you so much for your time, Josh, and move on to Tuesday night and up the town. Let's go. Thanks. No problem. I'm now with the Whitton Town player, Billy Roast. Billy, welcome to Whitton Town. And what is your thoughts on the game against Felix Stowe and Walter United? Oh, it's a bit of a bit of a um, slow start. Uh, a bit of scrappy, both sides. Um, I think they started a bit better than us, but <laughs> we grew into the game. Um, we had a really good second half, and yeah, great three points. Yeah, the Whitton Town supporters have been absolutely superb throughout the whole 90 minutes as always. And that was a fantastic victory, isn't it? Yeah, superb victory. Great three points against second in the league. So, um, yeah, everyone, everyone's buzzing, mate. Everyone's absolutely buzzing. And this will bring huge confidence into Tuesday night's game against Stowe Market Town, isn't it? No, definitely, definitely. It's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, definitely help the lads along. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to Tuesday now. Hopefully getting another three points. Thank you so much for your time, Billy, and up the town. Up the town, thank you. Thanks. I'm now with the Whitton Town chairman, Mark. Hello, James, how are you? Good, thank you. What was your thoughts on the game against um, Felix Stone, Walter United? Tough encounter, slow, slow start. Um, positives, but being a realist, three points in a bag, 
That one's gone. We now look forward to Tuesday. That's the important thing. This one's gone. Three points in the bag. 100%. Thank you so much for your time, Mark. And no welcome to Tuesday night. Good man, James. James, credit to the supporters. Thank you. Credit to all the staff that got this match on again today. They're working really hard behind the scenes. I don't want to bore people. There's so many unsung heroes up there that do so much for the club that we don't see. The players have worked hard the day this deserved. Gary, his management team are working hard behind closed doors. We've been criticised. There's rumours we don't support the club as a club, uh, support the team as a club. I can guarantee you now this is one of our biggest budgets. And this don't go on record. We've got a big budget this year, biggest we've paid for a long, long time. Not mega amounts. He's working hard to balance them books. Gary's done well. A lot of pressure on Gary lately. We'll keep supporting him. Um, mm. We thank the supporters. We thank everyone up here for working so hard on a freezing cold day. Credit to Felix though as well. Um, so good game, James. Well done. Thank you so much for your time, Mark, and roll on to Tuesday. Yeah, another cold night, Tuesday. Bring your thermals, bring your bobblets. Freezing <laughs> Tuesday night, so another three points fingers crossed. All right? Thanks. Thank you, James. I appreciate it. Thanks. No worries. Keep that going. All right? Thank you. Thanks. Super. Bye-bye. Bye. So here you go. <laughs> oh, I'm so, so emotionally happy that after that fantastic victory against... Felix Stone, Walter United, and um, I'm absolutely delighted for the Whitton Town players and the staff, and especially for our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball, and I told you we need to be patient, and, and we became good, and we come good with a victory, with a 3-2 victory against Felix Stone, Walter United, and... Um, I'm so happy and <laughs> and there's going to be a celebration along in the evening and um, I'm absolutely delighted. It's been a long time to come away with a victory. The last win was away at Haber Swifts and, and we got the victory against Felix Stone and Walter United in our 3-2 win and it was a really, really close game and we finally got the three points in the bag. And this will bring huge confidence into Tuesday night's game against Stone Market Town. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was superb. And we kept on singing throughout the whole 90 minutes. And I backed Gary Kimball 150% since he came back in his second full term. And I have to give massive, massive credit for Gary Kimball for making the team to, to come good and um, and we've been patient and we finally got the victory and um, and I did say it from the start we need to be a bit more patient and but yes other fans are entitled to their opinions and I'm entitled to my opinion but we got the victory 3-2 3-2 Whitton Town, that was a brilliant, brilliant victory against the second place, Felix Stone, Walter United. And now I have to say unlucky to Felix Stone, Walter United and unlucky for today. Hard luck and look forward to see you at your place in April. And um, but this is all about Whitton Town with a fantastic victory and this bring huge, huge smile in everyone's faces at the club. It has been brilliant and um, it brings me so much happiness. It's bring, I'm emotionally happy and um, and we got a superb victory and it will bring into Tuesday night's game with full of confidence and I'm buzzing for Tuesday already. I'm excited and this is it that we turn the corner and, and I did say on the intro that fellow Whitton Town fans need to be patient. And we got the victory. We got the 3-2 win. And it was brilliant. And I couldn't stop smiling after the final whistle. And... <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Uh, and especially, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for Gary Kimball and and it's been brilliant. And Gary's brilliant to me and um, and we had a good laugh and we had a good chat. 
up at the Whitton Town Football Club, on and off the pitch, and like um, it was brilliant. And I'm so emotionally happy. Um, it was brilliant. And that was a superb victory. And I'm so proud for the Whitton Town players. And, um, and we look forward to Tuesday night's game with full of confidence. And roll on to Tuesday night. Hope you all enjoyed today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is a home to Stone Market Town on Tuesday, the 28th of November. Up the town! Yes! Come on!